for eons. Fire has been as much a part of America's prairies as wildflowers and Indian grass. It's like fertilizing your field, basically, is the way that I look at it. And uh, the next season, it just comes back flush and green. Paul Nelson is a member of a DNR burn crew, doing something folks usually try to prevent. Because on the prairie, fire does much more than destroy. They'll flower more, they'll grow taller, they're more robust. Peter Bissler is a burn boss for the DNR and a prairie biologist who uses fire as a tool of his profession. Crews like this set dozens of fires a year, but unlike those set by nature, these are carefully controlled prescribed burns. Now we're gonna take this first spot real slow, okay? We'll Here safety is the number one priority, so the fire brings needed benefits to the ecosystem without damaging property or endangering the burn crew. The native prairie that's going to burn is bounded by plowed fields that we have here, grazed pastures, or if you're in the urban area, houses. Weather conditions have to be just right, dry enough to sustain a fire, but with predictable winds that won't spread the fire too quickly. If those conditions aren't met, the burn is canceled. Usually we try to burn with more of a dominant wind because the fire will, in these valleys and stuff, it does a lot of weird things and around the trees and the fire will cre actually create its own wind. So it's a little trickier. Change positions where we're starting looking at the way the smoke's going. So we just put out what's in front of us. Fire's benefits are easy to see when you compare an area like this that hasn't burned in some years to this one right behind me that was burned just last year. Fire also keeps the non-native plants that aren't adapted to fire under control, allowing native plants to flourish. It's kind of like one of those things when you find the first one and suddenly you start seeing them everywhere, you know? Here on the Lost Valley Prairie Scientific and Natural Area, the rare hills thistle is thriving. Bob Jepstrom coordinates the DNR's Scientific and Natural Areas program. It only grows in four states in North America and nowhere else in the entire world. And Minnesota is one of the hotbeds for it. And we have a real healthy population out here. By improving habitat, prescribed burns also benefit many native animals, birds, and insects. Prescribed burns are carefully timed and managed so those populations are not harmed by the fire. We will split a unit like this. Uh, this one is split into four or five burn compartments, but we'll never burn all of the compartments at the same time. And we don't want to endanger or damage any plant, animal, any critter that calls that site home. Of the 18 million acres of prairie that once covered Minnesota, only a tiny fraction is left. Fire is essential to keeping those remnants healthy.